Aruna had told us about Krishni Reddy, who works at the advice desk for abused women in Verlum. She said that if anyone could give us real advice about how to make the right choices as young women and avoid exploitation and abuse, it would be this angel in a sari. She was one woman who had the courage to break the silence. 29 years ago when my partner and I entered Alcoholic Anonymous, I thanked God for sobriety and peace of mind and happiness. And I promised God that I'll go out there and help the others as he helped me. Uh, I'm no more a victim but a survivor. Seven years ago, I thought to myself, uh, I'm empowering other women and um, still living in an abusive situation. So I empowered myself by getting out of the closet, smelling the roses and the coffee, mm -hmm. saying no to abuse, and I'm now really empowered going on, going forward. So he abused you physically and badly? Um, you know, living in an alcoholic environment, there's every emotional, physical, verbal, mm -hmm. financial abuse. So it's no different from another family. Mm -hmm. But yes. being there, we think we're the only one. What are the signs or what should we look for in a guy that we know he's not going to be an abuser or he's not going to do anything to us? A sign from a guy, mm -hmm. as soon as he holds your hand tight and you know it's paining, that's a physical abuse. Because uh, they feel they're macho. They prove the man would by portraying the physical, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, as soon as he says things to belittle you or disgrace you and uh, bring your self-esteem down, that's a sign that, you know, uh, he's gonna, it's going to continue, it's not going to stop. When he picks on your dressing or your looks or your weight or how you speak and what he does, that's abuse. It's not going to ever stop there and love is not going to change anything. If you love a person, you must love him or her for who and what she is. If you detect abuse and you're getting married tomorrow, cancel today. Don't fight for disgrace or anything because why? Better than getting married and coming back with children. You must know if the guy can make you happy. Believe you me, it's not only the guy now, it's the dolls too. They're also abusing their boyfriends. The ladies are also abusing their husbands. It's vice versa. Mm -hmm. And believe you me, I never realized when I was going through the prom problem that I unintentionally uh, took out the frustration out of my children. Mm -hmm. I did. But you know, when I entered the support group, I learned that I am powerless. Uh, it's not my fault. I'm not to blame. I didn't make him do those things. I am not responsible. Who I am responsible is for myself and my children. And thank God my children grew up to forgive me because I really bashed them. But they they grown up to be professional people on the way to success. And I'm proud of them. And uh, I'm proud of who I am because I didn't stay in that situation. The age of 10 years, as actually, that's mm -hmm. A lot of my questions have been answered by Krishni and Aruna. I now know there is still a lot of work to be done to really create equality between men and women and break the silences that exist around emotional abuse. I also know deep within myself that I want to help break that silence and contribute to the well-being and protection of women in my community and possibly around the world.